25 years ago, an immigrant planted a seed. I am 72 years old now. I don't have time, much time, because age is a major factor. And so far I have walked 10,000 kilometers around the globe to serve the poor and needy people. I am trotting around the globe with a beggar's bowl in hand, but I don't feel ashamed of myself because I am not begging for myself. I am begging for those who are in need. I am begging for those who are in disaster. I am begging for those whom we should look after. Major Abbas Ali, a veteran, a humanitarian, a leader. Major Abbas Ali made Canada his home in 1990. He saw the extremities that his neighbors were living in. He saw children going to sleep while starving. He saw seniors with no roof over their heads. He came to realize, no matter where you go, hunger and poverty has no borders. Witnessing all the suffering, a never-ending fire ignited within him to help the less fortunate. With some borrowed money, he and his wife, Sever Jaha Begum, started a small, humble food bank, Muslim Welfare Center. Today, we are celebrating 25 years of the seed they had planted. The legacy that they left behind is now serving thousands of people in need. Service to humanity is service to Allah, as he always said, is now our motto. After they both passed away, their family and friends took their mission as their own. Living and breathing with the same passion as their founders had. Keeping the legacy alive, Muslim Welfare Center has been working restlessly to help people in need, regardless of faith, color, and background with the same passion and principles that Major Abbas had built this organization on. This is a perfect example of uh, the strength and the resilience of Canada, a place that understands that strength comes through diversity, not in spite of it. Uh, and the more we pull together and help each other out, uh, the better we are, the better we all are. Traditions of Ramadan, the generosity of Ramadan, is a lesson that we can all learn from. I've talked about it all over the city because it is, to me, one of the examples, one of the best I've seen of an instance where, in this case, a faith group is doing things to help other Torontonians regardless of their faith. The Muslim Welfare Centre has helped thousands of Canadians in the past two decades with the help of the community projects such as Halal Food Bank, Muslim Welfare Home, free medical clinics for the uninsured, public school nutrition program, Project Ramadan, Regent Park Meals, Malvern Eats, Halal Meals on Wheels, Winter Clothing Drive, and Meals on Wheels for Seniors. Our Arctic Food Bank service is a pioneering effort focused on improving food security for Canada's First Nations in the Northern Territories by providing food to over 200 families. Our international projects include Mother and Child Support in Thur Parker, Support a Child Program, Help Educate a Deaf Child Program, International Water Exploration, Overseas Kirbani and Zabiha projects, also helping many struggling families. We also actively provide disaster relief to victims around the globe by providing emergency aid, including, but not limited to, medical assistance, shelter, food and water, and much more. Refugees are provided with welcome kits that include basic essentials. We are now building a second village in partnership with the International Development and Relief Foundation. This effort will provide 30 new houses. 
the project has already begun, with the installation of hand pumps and over 1,000 trees planted. On behalf of the Muslim Welfare Center, we would definitely want to thank each and every one of you for being here, thank our volunteers, thank our well-wishers, and of course, thank all the people who took out the time to be with us tonight. I hope we'll continue to see your support. May God grant us the wisdom and strength to constantly strive in the spirit of our motto, service to humanity is service to God. Major Abbas Ali and Server Jahar Begum, you will always be remembered. May God grant you the highest rank in Jannah.